Oh, I am so excited, Rosemarie. We get to taste all these tomatoes. I'm at Nichols Garden Nursery with Rosemarie Nichols McGee, and we have a tomato testing. It is going on today, Saturday, from 1 to 4, and let's just jump right in. Okay. You know, we put out a catalog. We've got a zillion tomatoes. Now this is the fun part where we get to taste them, and we get to pick new varieties for the coming year. All right. I want you to see this legend we've carried since it was first introduced by Oregon State. Look at that. Hardly any seeds at all. This was bred there in the Hort Department. Great early, early tomato. Doesn't have to be pollinated. First one. Great for the Willamette Valley. It is. Wanda Flamet. My husband Pretty loves color. it. Um, garden writers love it. I've had this guy in northern Michigan keeps calling me. First one out of the gate. We're offering wow. this next year. Cool. It's early, bright color. And then black cream. Now you mm. have to love this tomato. This has mm. what I call big flavor. It does. That's excellent. And it's a Russian tomato. It matures. It's doing a nice little crop this year. And look at that color. Beautiful color. I love that. The yeah. black with the red. Oh, just beautiful. Yeah. And then you put that on a plate with the golden tomatoes. Ah, oh, you know, you've just got all kinds of color play going on. All right. As well as flavors. Very pretty. Now, now down to cherry tomatoes. Now look at these. We have, a, you know, quite a few of them here. And, but this is what, I, this is sun sugar. Okay, I'm going to taste this that This is one. sun gold. Okay. These, you know, they do taste tests on these tomatoes and somebody will like, people will like this one the best or this one the best. Mm. What do you think? I don't think I can taste a difference. They're pretty similar, pretty aren't they? <laughs> They're wonderful. Yeah. Well, this is the one that's the most famous, but I think sun sugar is just as good. Well, yummy. Well, and they're both big plants, really productive. And you just go out and you keep picking and picking and picking. Well, speaking of picking, you have some melons that you've picked on the other side. And William's going to talk about melons just a second. Yes. <laughs> well, Judy was fortunate to get to taste tomatoes, but I'm fortunate enough to get to taste melons here with Mike the Melon Man. Now, remember, this is the Latour special that's happening at Nichols Garden Nursery in Albany, but it's not happening until tomorrow, Sunday, from 1 to 4. Now, you have a whole lot of melons here, but we're only going to be able to hit on a few of them. I love the color and texture of this one called Crane. Tell me a little bit about that. That uh, seed has been developed by Crane Ranch near Santa Rosa, California. It's an open pollinated heirloom variety. They've kept it going. It's uh, uh, available here at Nichols. And what better way to keep an heirloom variety going than to buy it and eat it because that keeps it in demand? Yep, yep. It, it's it's gaining in popularity. It's a wonderful melon. Flavor is just delightful. It was delicious. Yep. When we were uh, tasting earlier before the shoot here, we were looking at this one and tasting it, and my goodness, the flavor, unbelievable. Hannah's Choice out of Cornell. Uh, Nichols has the seed on this one. I tell them this, is, this one's bulletproof. If you only grow one, grow Hannah's Choice. Yeah, it was really, really yeah. delicious. Yeah. Now, this is an AAS winner, a really good little melon that I, I guess is like a storage melon. It'll keep for a week or two. I, 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 I understand it is. I don't know Lampkin, but it, it's tasty the way it is yeah, now. Yeah, they really yeah. are. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, a lot of people wonder how their melons are ripe. There's really not an easy, quick answer, is there? Just, just watch it. These are, these are short distance shipping melons and they are on the move. There's ripe to pick and, and then ripe to eat. Well, you know, certainly um, people can have fun trying to grow these themselves, but if you don't have a garden space or you don't want to tackle growing melons, I'm very pleased to tell you that you can get Mike's, uh, Mike the Melon Man's melons at New Seasons. So please, if you want them, go to that place and pick it up in their produce center. Thank you so much, Mike, and we look forward to seeing you Sunday at 1 to 4 at the Melon Tasting.